welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing LEGO Marvel's Avengers. The well-established LEGO series is back with another taste of the Marvel side with this time working with the Avengers. So make sure you grab that shield, put on that Iron Man suit, and Hulk smash. So let's get started. That's right folks, LEGO is back with another Marvel title in its banks, but this time they're taking on Earth's Mightiest Heroes in their newest title, LEGO Marvel's Avengers. Spanning between both Avengers movies, Captain America 1 and the Winter Soldier, Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, it's up to you to defeat Loki and the Chitauri, Ultron, Mandarin, Red Skull, the Winter Soldier, and Malekith, and all kinds of assorted adventures that they put in your hands while playing as Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and the rest of the cast in LEGO's Marvel Avengers. And then LEGO's new title comes new with things. In LEGO Marvel's Avengers, when you're done with the title with simply going in between missions, the added free play that you have is now utilized in something bigger with open world free play. Traveling between New York, South Africa, Shield Base, and its helicarrier, Europe, and plenty of other places in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, all with side missions from other Marvel heroes such as Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, and Black Panther, plenty of collectibles to find such as gold blocks and other assorted things for heroes with random events happening in between the time. And while there's always something new, there's always another thing making a return. In LEGO Marvel's Avengers, the creating your own superhero from LEGO Marvel's superheroes makes a return where you can play with your own custom superhero in free play modes and whatever power you want to utilize them with. You can give them a quick seal with speed, Captain America's strength, Hulk's bulkiness, Iron Man's suit, Scarlet Witch's psychosis power, Falcon's flying suit, you'll simply be a shield agent or whatever suits your kind of power playstyle. It's all in your hands and your opportunity when it comes down to the choices and how you want it. Now see, when I first started playing LEGO Marvel's Avengers, I thought they were only going to stick to the kid-friendly script and not take any of the seriousness from the Avengers film into play. But somehow they managed to mesh the kid-friendliness and the seriousness all into one mix and really make it work. I'm very impressed. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you, the pros. <laughs> My first pro for LEGO Marvel's Avengers is that this game has a pretty lengthy campaign and that doesn't include the side missions of the open world free roam. Jumping between the previous events of Captain America 1 and the first Avengers movie and going straight into Age of Ultron, they have a long campaign as you really begin to sing time into this game. Going between puzzles to solve other issues and really find your way through certain points and having cool down misses between the major story missions, they've really given you some time on this campaign and it shows. It's definitely a pro for me. My next pro is that I'm glad they got the actual movie voices and audio from the movies and didn't stick to putting random voice actors on the characters instead. It would have been completely different and not the same if they didn't get the audio clips from the movies and fit them into the segments of the game. Having random voice actors would have not done this title any justice and I'm glad that they really took the time to break down the audio clips and lines and really give this game the full entirety for the complete Avengers feel through and through. It is definitely, definitely a pro for me. My next pro is that even with all the seriousness in the Avengers movies, LEGO Marvel's Avengers managed to still add humor and funny moments to certain serious moments that gets the ball rolling with the jokes. Some jokes may be kid friendly, but you can't help but crack a smile when the time comes around. LEGO Marvel's Avengers is the perfect time of when to add humor, when to laugh, when to cut the seriousness of the scene here and there and add a few funny moments here and there to even it out. It's some moments that's been hilarious through and through and some that's just a chuckle at times. And that's definitely a pro for me. Mine explores that there's over 200 playable characters and heroes that you can use in this game. With major heroes like Iron Man, Hope, Thor, and minor heroes like Falcon, Quicksilver, and War Machine, to the obscure heroes like Wiccan, Speed, and American Chavez, even the newer forms of certain heroes like Jane Foster being Thor now, Kamala Khan being Ms. Marvel now as well. It's a grand amount of characters you can use within LEGO Marvel Avengers, all having different powers and something different in their staple holds. It's a lot of characters you can use and it's definitely a pro for me. My last pro is that the combat is simple, fun, and mindless button mashing at times. In LEGO Marvel Avengers, they give you simplistic combat so you don't have to worry about anything over the top or gunning for anything major. X to attack, B to team attack, and holding down X to target folks for a distance attack, and B to be your special move or your counter move for a quick second. It's simple and fun at the same time. Nothing over the top or deep, it works in its favor at times, and keeps the fun at times in LEGO Marvel Avengers. It is definitely, definitely a pro for me. Now see when I was playing LEGO Marvel Avengers, there were some things I really liked, some things that I thought was cool, and there were some things I really disliked. There were some bugs and glitches, there were some things I wish they changed up, and there were some things I wish they really implemented into the game. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you, the cards. <laughs> My first con for LEGO's Marvel Avengers is that this game has some pretty bad bugs at times. 
characters will get stuck on inanimate objects so they can't move due to some glitch or somehow they'll fall to the floor and get put in a place they can't get out of and stop you from being able to get to the next checkpoint or the mission and make you completely have to restart the level all over again. It's very disappointing at times, especially when you got through a certain point of a level and that happens to completely ruins the feel or the immersion of the game or even the flow of the level itself. It's the con for me. My next con is that LEGO Marvel's Avengers doesn't have any clear, concise instructions at times. It shows you an image or an icon and tells you that this needs to be built and this has to be made and that's it. No telling on how or what you need or to use to build it. Sometimes certain moments need instructions on what to do or to show the object of what you need to use. Because if not, then you'll be wandering around for quite some time wondering on what to do next and then you'll find yourself stuck and not being able to progress simply on what you're supposed to do. It's definitely a con for me. My next and final con is that while I love the simplicity of the combat and gave it a pro, I'm also going to have to give it a con for being too simple. I wish they'd given the Avengers characters some kind of combo list, whether it be minuscule or small or just minor button inputs and nothing too deep. I would have loved seeing something cool coming from them with those kinds of thoughts and wishes. I think it's solid how it is, but they've taken the chance to just delve a little deeper and give it a basic combo list and that I would have definitely gotten on board. But for now, it is definitely a con for me. But all in all, Lego Marvel's Avengers is definitely a good game. I love the long lengthy campaign that it has, the fact that they use actual movie voices, the sense of humor and all the seriousness, the amount of characters you can play with and the combat simplicity is definitely great. But with the bugs are getting stuck and going under maps, the lack of clear instructions at times and the way too simple combat, it can be a nuisance at times itself. But I'll be giving Lego Marvel's Avengers a 3.5 out of 4. Alright guys, that includes my review of LEGO Marvel's Avengers. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. But I have a lot of reviews coming for you guys in the meantime, so stay tuned for those. Between Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, Firewatch, Unravel. This month alone is going to be action packed and full of games, so you guys are going to stay tuned for those reviews. And if you guys haven't started it, haven't watched it, or haven't seen it yet, click here in the annotation box below and watch my first ever episode of my Let's Play. Well, I've been doing this for a while now, but you can see the episode of my Let's Play and catch up in the playlist of my episodic Let's Play episodes. 1 through 5 and Let's Play Outlast. So if you haven't seen it, click here in this annotation box below. You can get started on that, or you can click the description box below where every episode will be linked in there as well. Stay so watch those guys, and I hope you guys enjoy those as well. Also, I have news for you. I can finally post up some gigantic beta gameplay. So if you haven't seen Gigantic at all, I'll be posting that up over the week as well. Stay tuned for those as well. Be giving my thoughts and impressions on that and on the home front beta. Stay tuned for those as well, guys. Also, if you haven't already, follow me on my Twitch and Twitter. It'll be in the description box below. You can click that and follow me and all that goodness, and I'll follow back. So thanks, guys, and follow me. And until next time, next review, guys, we'll tune in, turn up, and throw down. I'm